In this video, I will give you a short introduction about making a resource breakdown structure and how you can use this to assign the different resources to the tasks and activities that are part of the work breakdown structure. A design is not created easily. A building does not build itself. There are people that have to perform the tasks and activities in order to deliver a building. For example, this man working on the Empire State Building in New York. In construction projects, a cross-functional team works together to deliver the building. A cross-functional team is a group of people with different functional expertise, working towards a common goal. Each expert has a particular task to fulfill within the project organization. Each expert is a critical resource to make the project a success. There are different experts who perform different tasks, such as a carpenter drilling a hole, an architect working on the conceptual design and an engineer working on an energy management control system of a building. Let's have a look at this work breakdown structure. Remember that people are performing tasks and activities with the purpose of delivering a building and its separate components, such as a ventilation system or the building structure. Therefore, you should assign resources to particular tasks. These resources need to be capable to perform these tasks and should be assignable at the right moment in time. Let me give you another example. To assign the right resource to resources to particular tasks, you should ask yourself, who would you ask to investigate the level of soil contamination on a site? Would you go for option one, people who are trained engineers in the field of so soil contamination, or option two, a carpenter? OK, I think you get it. Let's make a resource breakdown structure. A resource breakdown structure is a logical hierarchical tree of personal resources needed to complete a project. Let me show you an example of a resource breakdown structure of an architectural firm. At the highest level, it shows the company type. Then the owners or lead architects of the firm. And one layer down, it shows the head of departments and the senior staff members, such as the senior architects. And finally, it shows the junior staff and workers at the bottom. As you can see, the resources are ordered by function. On the left, you see the architects and on the right, the structural engineers. Remember that for tasks and activities to be, bef to be bef performed, you need appropriate resources to perform them. By merging the work breakdown structure and the resource breakdown structure, you can create a responsibility assignment matrix. This matrix identifies who is responsible for performing specific project tasks. Here is an example. At the top, you see the work breakdown structure of the conceptual design phase showing the deliverables, tasks and activities that need to be performed. At the right, you see the resource breakdown structure showing all the personnel resources that you could assign to the tasks and activities. Merging the two gives you a re responsibility assignment matrix. In this example, the X defines specific resources assigned to, speci to complete a specific task. The work breakdown structure and resource breakdown structure are therefore complementary to each other. Both tools can be used in combination to define the scope of work and to assign particular resources to each task. This is the basis for designing a project organization. This brings me to the end of this presentation. I started my presentation by telling you that a building does not build itself. There are people that have to perform the tasks and activities in order to deliver a building. After you define the scope of work by using a work breakdown structure, you need to connect the tasks and activities to resources. These resources should be capable of performing these tasks and should be available when you need them. By merging the work breakdown structure with the resource breakdown structure, you can create a responsibility matrix. When you've done this, you will have an overview of the personal resources needed for successful completion of a project. I hope you enjoyed watching this video.